Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Chris, for those unaware, and we're playing more Pioneer today. Uh, it's a new deck on the channel, and I think a new deck overall. I haven't seen it anywhere else. It's like a blue-white flash deck, so it's sort of mid-rangey, tempo-y, more so than control. We've got a lot of creatures. We've got four Brazen Borrowers, four Spell Quellers, three Avacins, and two Gear Hulks. We've also got uh, three Teferis as a sort of threat-ish and a castle Arden Vale, those are the threats. Playing 24 lands, three big draw spells, fully five wraths, and it might look odd in a creature deck. I think it's, and it, it might be wrong. One of my friends advised me to play Time Wipe over Verdict, and he is better at magic than me, so he's probably right. But I wanted to have the four mana spell because the aggro decks in this format are very good. And um, I just think you need to sequence properly, basically. Um, for those unaware, Spell Queller and Little Teferi is a bit of a combo. If they kill the Spell Queller, they still don't get their spell back if there's a Teferi on the board. Um, yeah, that's kind of where we are. It's just a fairly simple deck, nothing too revolutionary, other than I just haven't seen it before. Mana base is two Vantress and an Arden Vale, and then some blue and white lands. Four Temple of Enlightenment might be incorrect, but you've only got four one drops in the whole deck, which are the opts. And I thought, frankly, you can consider a Scryland almost a one-drop if it's in your opener, and it's, um, you know, because you're using all your mana and you're gaining something from it. And, uh, yeah, it just gives me a bit more fixing for the double blue, double white, double white, double blue. You know, you can see what I mean. The mana requirements are quite tough for a two-color deck. And then lastly, the sideboard is, I guess, fairly stock interaction in these colors. Rest in peace, disdainful stroke, mystical dispute, ceremonious rejection... And then I wanted Selfless Spirits as well. There's two things you can do with them. Obviously, protecting your creatures is cool. It lets you, you know, sack one and cast a Wrath. But I think the more, like, well, the, the more spicy corner case we might get to do is uh, sacking it to flip an Avacyn to Wrath your opponent's board. That's pretty sweet. Hopefully that might come up. It'll be pretty cool. So we're going to play a league. I've not tested the deck before. This is the first time I've used it. And I haven't um, seen the deck anywhere else, so we are literally going in with no expectations. Other than on paper it looks reasonable, so it shouldn't be garbage. But I've thought that before. Usually right before going one and four and sulking. I'll try not to sulk. It is Christmas Eve today. Uh, in the UK at least I've got friends in other countries who tell me they celebrate Christmas on the 24th today so I guess it's Christmas if you're in a myriad of other places but it's Christmas Eve in the UK and uh, it's beautiful and sunny outside which is not very on theme, it's supposed to be wintry it is middle of English winter but yeah, outside it looks like a beautiful spring day and, um, yeah, basically, it's it's a nice time to be alive. Everyone's really uh, festive, and it's great. So hopefully that means we'll get nice opponents who do things like overcommitting into wraths and stuff. That would be festive, wouldn't it? Come on, League. Find me an opponent. Everyone's playing frickin' Vintage Cube. I can't blame them. I want to be playing Vintage Cube. But I also want to test this deck. You can't do both. Since the, I've done a Vintage Cube video on this channel which was fairly safe and boring and just beating people down with a, a linear deck. And since then I've drafted some much more fun, spicier decks, all of which would have made for better videos whilst not recording, so that's a bit disappointing. That'll teach me to be uh, fun in an unscheduled manner. Right, we've got an opponent at last. Possibly a droid, based on the name. That's not a very human name. And I've just learned never to underestimate a droid, so I should be a bit afraid. This hand is fine, I think. It's a smidge slow, but we can cast our spells... 
I'm just going to play the Hallowed Fountain tapped. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm going to shock for the Hallowed Fountain. No, I'm not. I'm going to play it tapped. The reason being, I don't have enough information to cast Opt yet. It might... I might, you know, I might be looking for the wrong thing the later I leave it, because I'm not under any pressure. It's not like they've played Atlanta or Elf. I can opt now with hopefully a bit more info. Based on the start, the two most popular blue-red decks are Arclight Phoenix deck and the other deck with eight Phoenixes that we played on this channel. So, I guess... Sure, we'll, we'll we'll take the second opt because it's good for dig through time. That's the only reason, really. I guess it's slightly better than an average draw. Top. So we're going to do quite a good job of uh, pressure and tempo with the two quellers and two borrowers. We can probably disregard the supreme verdict for the time being and just try to clock the opponent. So it'll be interesting to see if they lightning axe this. The Is It Charm tells me that it's almost certainly the uh, Arclight Phoenix version. Yeah. Which I think we should be good against, by the way. They have shot. going to just attack I don't mind them shocking themselves to be honest I think that's probably good for me I guess they've got an opt to cast which I won't quell yeah if they look like they're going to make some phoenixes come back we can brazen borrower the phoenix that's a pretty dirty play back in their hand where they don't want to be. If they tap a couple of lands for something, we can potentially even... I'm just going to run one of these out as a borrower, ignoring the petty theft half. Um, I was going to say, we could potentially quell or something if it looks like they're going for a third spell predicated on finding a cheap cantrip with their second spell. We can try to snipe them. This must be a removal spell. Maybe it was greedy for me to go for the borrower. It probably was. I don't know, though. Lightning Axe pitching Lightning Axe. Hmm. Okay. So be it. Maybe that was bad. I don't know. I'm quite good at playing wrong. I will probably go for a dig at the end of their turn unless I have reason not to uh, yeah that I think is resolving god treasure cruise is good <laughs> it definitely costs four or less <laughs> let's be real you're just not allowed to quell it Um Okay, this is presumably where... They've not discarded any phoenixes yet. I presume this is where the first one gets binned, yeah. Oh, it's fine. Yep. I'm going to do this. I can't think of a single... I mean, it's probably better just to wait until the end step, but I can't think of a single sorcery speed, one-mana red spell they would be playing. We need to remember that one of their cards in hand is a phoenix. But hopefully... We can just 
just tempo them now. A land would be fantastic. It's not terrible. I'm just going to hold up my mana and see what they do. Yep, I was wondering when Quicken was going to start seeing play in this format, just as a, a one mana cantrip. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try to quell that. Hopefully it's sufficiently annoying. Fine, yeah. And they've pitched their bloody pigeon. Um Well, I'm not that unhappy with how things have gone. I'm going to try and put it back in their hand. They can't spell pierce this, so it should resolve. Try and look for a land as well while we're doing it. The land would let us dig through time as well, which would be fantastic. Quell is fine. So we're going to lose to Fairy, but we're applying pressure to their life total in a meaningful way. And when to Fairy dies, I get to cast Dig Through Time because I'll have six in the yard. Young Peasy's fine. It might even be correct now for me to try and build up to a Supreme Verdict. Okay, that's fine too. Interestingly, they didn't kill my borrower. Obviously not too worried about their own life total. Have they got a land and another spell? They do not. So I'm going to dig. And hope that I didn't get spell pierced, because that would be upsetting. They didn't spell pierce me. Avacyn and a land seems good let's get a scry what have we got coming up I don't really know what I'm looking for everything's pretty great uh, yeah, I'll top that we've got enough gas in hand that's for sure so I'll attack And one thing that's quite nice at the moment is that Avacyn plus Brazen Borrower is 7 damage. So, oh, hello Supreme Verdict. You're looking rather nice. Let's clean up. So we take 4, which I think is f more than acceptable. Do I try and kill them? Or do I just put them to four, cast a big verdict, and feel safe? That might be better. Because then we've got Queller up after that. Hopefully they'll use a removal spell on this. That would be really good. Yep, that's great. Because they're down even more on cards and resources. So I'm glad I didn't go for lethal. That's fairly excellent. Then we can try to quell whatever they do. Um, they paused then. I wonder if they had a counter spell and were annoyed. I hope so. <laughs> um, let's see what they're doing.
Okay. And they pitched another Phoenix. So that's two spells cast this turn. So they might get their Phoenixes back. Which is a bit annoying. We've got one Settle the Wreckage in the main for Phoenixes as well. And two Detention Spheres. I wonder if it was wrong for me not to take a Detention Sphere with that Dig Through Time when we saw them. Because they are a very good answer to the Phoenixes. Oh, this is great. They don't... Oh, no. That, hang on. Have they cast a third spell? I only remember them casting two spells. Oh, does it count as being cast twice? That's interesting. That's something to know. It does count seemingly as being cast twice. Let's see what's coming up. Yeah, more lands is fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So my options are either to rev for four or to like flash in Avacyn and block, which I think I prefer. Hopefully this works. She should become indestructible. I can't imagine they can... Okay, that's irritating. Yeah, didn't consider that. Resolves. Oh, fortunately, it isn't actually lethal. Although, if they can have a big turn here, we could easily die. Because my, my current options are to either gain two or play one blocker. Yeah, I should imagine we're dead then. Have they got a spell? Right, let's think. There's nine... Yeah, we're dead, whichever option we take. That's irritating. I thought we were winning that game. So. Rest in peace. And I guess Mystical Dispute. And... What's bad? Quellas seemed fragile. In this matchup, now if I'm playing Rest in Peace, I don't want Torrential Gear Hulk, do I? And I probably don't want Dig Through Time, so that makes me think I do want some amount of this stuff. Let's go with that. Bit annoyed to have lost that game. Felt like we were pretty much in control if I hadn't punted. I think I should just take a detention sphere. Can't imagine they have any. Oh no, they've got petty theft, haven't they? They've got petty theft, to be fair. Okay, we're going to keep this and hope that Opt finds us a white land. Because then we win the game, pretty much. Can't afford to get spell pierced. Okay, that's sad, but probably what I deserve for keeping a one lander. White mana. So I'm assuming they're on the young pyromancers instead of thing in the ice. That that would be my feeling. Because we didn't see any things in game one. Not sure which is better. 
Yep, that's fine, I guess. Cool. Hopefully we now draw white mana and get to exile that phoenix. Oh, dear. <laughs> well, actually, I do not want to yield. I might want to petty theft something. Um... That must be their way to win through a rest in peace, which is quite good. We are probably losing this game because of the hand I kept, which is annoying. Sorry, viewers, this isn't going to be very interesting. So Healy is a good one. can imagine it's going to kill me pretty soon. If we don't draw a land... Okay, that's an odd play. It might have made sense if you were pitching a third Phoenix, I suppose, a second Phoenix, I suppose, but it seems odd to me. And they've cruised while their window's open as well. They're playing well around what I'm up to. Alright, that'll do it. Well, that wasn't, I don't think, a. Uh, <laughs> I don't think that was the deck's fault. Let's give the deck a chance to um, to lose all on its own. Okay. This is a fine hand. Don't have any pressure yet, which is a shame, but. A fine hand nonetheless. We're very good at defending ourselves, is what I'm trying to say. Okay. I wonder if this is <laughs> the event I played at the weekend. A friend of mine did. That's a good draw. A friend of mine did extremely well with a. Uh, Abzan coloured sacrifice deck that was just terrifying. Hidden stockpiles and goose cat oven stuff and marionette master and that's one I'm happy to counter. Oven, a second goose. A token. Okay. Do I want to desphere a goose? No, I think I want to hold desphere for things like ovens. So I just want to pass. Hope they sort of overcommit into the settle the wreckage or something. I imagine they're just going to play the Love Struck Beast. Not playing around my thought seizes I don't have very well, are they? Well, that's a good draw. Let's just do that. Um. Yeah, obviously now we just need mana. We can do a bit on our current... Like, we've got two spells we can cast, both of which are fairly good, but we, we would love a land to play Avacyn and start beating down. Fine. Do I care? No, I think that's just fine leaving that in play. 
I bet this is a Corvold deck. It looks like one. I've not seen anything quite like this before. Well, I have in Standard, but <laughs> not in Pioneer. Is this where I get Corvolded? No. Okay, so their hand must just be removals, I guess. Okay. I'm doing this now because I want to draw land. And they're not going to be on enough pressure that I'm going to want to cast Settle. What's got Flash? Okay. Murderous Rider and Illustric Beast, okay, that's, that's, that's whatever. Still cast this because we want to draw a land. Oh, for <laughs> God's sake. <laughs> anyway, I'm not bitter. I'm definitely not displeased and getting cranky. That wouldn't be like me. Fucking fuck, fuck, fuck. Sorry if you've got kids present. Um, <laughs> fuck. Uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not getting cranky. Train of crumbs. Okay. I'm so confused. Pilot's deck is just like a weird bad standard deck. But I'm probably going to lose because I'm probably underestimating it. Come on, for God's sake, give me land. Thank you. I guess I'll just pass. You can have a goose. I just want them to cast this, to be honest. Which they've been kind enough to do. Verdict looks really good here, so I'm just going to do that. And uh, hopefully next turn we can get the get the gear hulk up and running. Might be worth attention sphering that trail of crumbs, to be honest. Ooh, we're doing that thing. Oh, I hate that card. They've got like one sorcery in their deck and then they Borbrig must enrage me. Yep, yep, yep. We've played this game before. It is not an interesting deck. So we can Aether Gust the Possibility Storm and Disdainful Stroke It, and those are all of some interest. We can Nothing else looks good. Um, if they're a cat oven deck, do I want rest in peace? Need to think about that. Well, I don't think I need Avacyn because I don't think they are. I don't think they're doing too much to kill me. If that makes sense. Like, like kill my creatures. 
they're not wrathing me or anything, so I'm not going to get any blowouts with Avacyn. I guess I'll just swap two for two Aether Gusts and see how that works. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to bring in Rest in Peace there or not. don't know if it hurts them enough, and it kind of hurts me too. This is a fine hand. So we've got four lands. And some spells. We can interact with most things. Pretty cool. Come on, hurry up. Tyobi. I don't think we want that yet. I don't think we have very many shuffles though, so we might just not get a gear hulk this game, but that's fine. We should be able to win without gear hulks. Yep. Uh, that should be fine. So if they cast a spell, I can petty theft the oven with a view to quelling it next turn. Sure. I've decided the trailer crumbs is stronger, so I'm going to try and do the same with that. That's a good one. That lets me disguise my Queller, it's a little bit more discreet than shocking and passing. Although when you've got a brazen borrower in exile, that kind of masks it pretty well. Let's see what the opponent decides they care about. Because they're probably going to uh, have some three mana plays because half their deck costs three. It's a 4-3, yeah. Hopefully, our flyers can get us there, basically. We've got a bit of a clock. I think we can just become the aggressor. Ooh, we've got a lot of the clock. Opponent's got gone pretty rogue with the old damaging of self. They could they could murderous rider my spell queller, I suppose, with me tapping out. Yeah, maybe that was bad. That's confusing, because it wasn't cast as a stomp before. I don't think that would be how it would work. I'm annoyed now. Uh, yeah, we'll just play Ventress and pass. Okay, and then I assume they play one of these. No? Okay. Just setting up as best they possibly can. So we just want to run this out. set up the top of the deck that can definitely go away bash them a bit we've got a settle wreckage so I feel pretty safe obviously they've got 
a million ways to uh, to gain life. I don't mind them trumping with the goose. So they're going to, I assume, make a mana. But yeah, I like the goose being dead. That seems good for me. I assume they're just looking for a cat. Could be in some trouble if they find a cat. I imagine it's just going to be making lots of threats for them this turn. They've got at least four decent threats they can play. And a goose. I'd obviously, I've no real grasp of how their deck works based on the fact that I keep thinking I have a clue what they should do and then they keep not doing that. Grim Harrispex. Okay, well, we're not planning on killing things. We're planning on exiling them. But they are going to draw a lot of cards if they want. I should have Castle Vantress then. That was terrible. Yeah, we've got the same song and dance we had last time. I'm going to play Teferi next turn rather than this turn so I can uh, hold up Settle as well. Which means I'll probably Vantress this turn if I actually remember. Now they're all set up, I imagine the only thing I can do that's of any any benefit is like trying to detention sphere the Trail of Crumbs or something. Because uh, their engine seems to be going. So we need to look for a detention sphere, basically. I think that's fine. And by fine, I mean we don't have a clock now, but like, I'm more worried about losing the game. So they don't currently have a way to uh, sack of food. So I could get five foods with the detention sphere. Is that good? It's probably pretty good. And then I can play a Teferi and bounce it. And go for their creatures or their trail of crumbs after that. Yeah, probably go for the trail of crumbs after that. If I play Teferi and bounce it now, I don't have enough mana to replay it, and then Teferi dies, and... It seems safer to wait. I shouldn't have tapped my Vantress in that, get in that case. That was really bad. Oh, I'm not playing very well. Sorry, guys. Not playing very well. So next turn I need to have access to Settle. Only taking a small attack here for like... Yeah, two is fine. Even five would have been fine. Two doesn't bother me. I suppose they're playing around my like blockers with Flash. Pardon me. Yep. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I can't do everything. I can Teferi, bounce my D-Sphere, draw a card. Play this. And I have Settle available to try to uh, exile about six attacking creatures. They will presumably sack something to the oven. I'm not sure what. In order to keep Tefs, I have to cast this. I wonder if they've got basic lands. Maybe just a couple, I don't know. This is tough. I do not have much confidence with the way these games have gone. I do not think I'm playing them right, and I do not think we're winning. Sorry about the excessive photons. I'm hoping this triggers after this so they can't declare an attack with it. That does not appear to be the case. So... <laughs> This is a large attack, unless they are a bit scared. Me, Tefs, me. I suppose they probably play four to be fair, so I shouldn't be too salty. I started out super aggressive in this game. Maybe that was wrong. Yeah, that's a problem. And they've got the cat. I think we're donezo, pretty much. Just looking for Verdict, obviously. Can't imagine anything else does it. And even Verdict, they're going to draw 100,000 cards. So we make a not at all obvious attack. This definitely doesn't give them all the information about on the next spell.
I assume they oven something. Bad things are happening. Very bad things. <laughs> oh god, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I shouldn't have scribed that other spell queller to the top. I should have realised I'm going to need... Like, literally another... Uh, Another verdict next turn because these are going to come down probably. Yeah, yeah, that'll do it. Them having three trail of crumbs doesn't seem great for me. Well, this has gone poorly. I would really like to get like two wins, say, so we can decide if it's worth persisting with the deck. It's annoying scrying when you don't know what you need, but at the same time I'm fairly sure I don't need a fifth land yet. So that's something. Sure. Brazen Borrow would be good. That's fine, I guess. Let's see what they do. Hopefully they play a three drop and then we can ferry to bounce it and reset. Yep. Supreme Verdict, please. Not quite. So, on my, my, my ideal scenario is that they don't have another land, they have to use all three so they can't attack down Tefs. That's my ideal scenario. They do have another land, so they can just attack Tefs and then make the beast, which is probably what they'll do, and is not great for me. But it's not terrible. Sphere the mystic and hope they can't attack or I can just hold a queller letting myself take six though or I could just make the kind of obvious play of despairing the big threat that's probably better next turn we'll have Avacyn available Hopefully, the turn after, if we draw another land, we might have Tefs plus Queller available, which is quite the quite the trick. Don't be like a questing beast or something, for God's sake. Fuck off. Ma main deck. Ain't that a thing. Fuck me. All right, well. Avacyn's a reasonable answer to that, I suppose. Pro blue in your main deck, are you kidding me? It's not oh that's not reasonable. That's not reasonable. <laughs> Play me another one. Okay. That's that's a thing as well. I assume it gives itself haste.
So I have to block the ceratops because I can bounce that. That's the decision I have to make. So that's what I'll do. Avacyn will be indestructible when she blocks, so that's good. Come on, opponent. I bet they've also got main deck single green destroy target flyer or something. Okay. Almost. At least they can't give it trample, but it does survive. Verdict. Okay, well, unfortunately, their best thing has pro blue. This does have vigilance, right? Yeah. <laughs> Just making sure I wasn't opening myself up to death. So hopefully, they recast the Serac, which we quell, and then life's acceptable. Well, this with the Tefs in play is good. Oh. Let's see how they attack. I imagine they attack Teferi with this, hoping I just block here and Trample kills it. But I'm not sure. They might just go face. They might not attack at all if they're a coward. 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 My favourite uh, phrase for this sort of scenario is pussy -o, you're a pussy -o, which is a uh, Particularly crass, very British thing to say. Fine. I'm not going to use it because I might have to use both halves of Brazen Borrower. They can't give this thing reach, can they? Because they're tapped out. Go for it. We're doing all right, actually. <laughs> Pardon me, we're doing fine. Resolves. I'm going to try to bounce it. Probably during combat. No, because it's not got a haste. So, there's no need. Let's see if they attack. He didn't last time. He was a coward last time. Or she. They. Anyone can be a coward after all. Not only blokes. Though it's usually blokes, isn't it? Fucking main decks shifting sorry. 
Are you joking? blue so I can't block it okay if they play a pump I'll just veto it aspect of Hydra is bonkers okay I guess trample so make sure I take one That's fine. I'll take one as long as your stupid pro blue thing dies. I don't care. <laughs> Let's petty theft this. And then cast the Brazen Borrower so we can start beating down. But I think I'm only attacking with the Borrower. I think Spell Queller blocks these really, really well, and I want to protect Tefs long enough to use him again. This card stopped. Same as last turn, basically. Top that, that's a good one. I think we're probably winning this game, but I, I can't be too confident. Not if they've got another Ceratops, for example. If they're playing a playset of them, then we're in some bother. That's fine. Really, I really like Brazen Borrower. I'm slowly coming around to the idea that it is approximately as good as Vendillion Clique, which I did not used to subscribe to. I assume they have a pump and they're trying to decide whether to kill the Queller or the Teferi. I don't think it's going to resolve either way. <laughs> what was that about? That was a weird attack. No, I'm going to dig. <laughs> Just four copies, no big deal. Don't think we want them when we're ahead on board. Which I guess is why my friend told me to play Time Wipe instead, and he's probably right. Um, let's attack. I'll shock myself to be safe because I might want to cast like Veto plus Charm plus Brazen Borrow or something but let's see this might get a concession it's pretty brutal opponent is thinking now if they don't realise they're dead maybe they think I'm going to leave this in exile and forget to cast it I don't know alright 
right. Well, I didn't forget, so hopefully they'll scoop. Okay. Penny has dropped. Cool. So, mono green. I guess I just want aether gusts and disdainful strokes. Veto. Probably want all my board wipes. Maybe I don't need Avacyn. Let's try that. This matchup should be fine. Because Veil vale of Summer's banned. Can't think of anything worse for me than Veil vale of Summer. Oh, okay. You got to get another white to cast the settle, but settle into Gearhulk settle should be good against this deck. Zorius Charm can buy me some time. Yep, yeah, they always have it, especially when they keep a seven. So we shouldn't be surprised by that. So I guess we're just looking for white mana, really. That's not it. So Disdainful Strokes obviously a very nice draw, because on our turn 2, which will be their turn 3, they'll have 4 mana. And we can hopefully get them to play something that isn't Shifting Ceratops. Mm, that thing. That's the one that grows. I suppose it's quite soft to Azorius Charm, so that's good. God damn it, Avacyn, stay away! <laughs> You're not helping! You're not helping at all. Um, let's see if if we get to fire off this disdainful stroke on something. <sighs> yep. Can't do much about this. I suppose we've just got to hope that the... Uh, The Settle the Wreckage can be cast as soon as possible. And then the second thing to hope is that the Settle the Wreckage doesn't ramp them into a Galter, I suppose. <laughs> that ain't it. Um... <laughs> Oh god, is this how I die? Is this how I die? Just all these three mana spells. All these three mana spells against my stroke. Cast something expensive, please. Don't cast Yorvo. He won't help. Oh, good. Oh, there might be two three mana spells. That's. Yeah. Not good at all. Oh god! I need to draw basic planes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we just take six, and then hopefully stabilize. Goodness me. Okay. White mana. White mana. White mana. White mana. White mana. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh! Okay. I guess Yorvo can grow. Is that scarier? Probably. <laughs> so I have to go to two, unless they have a thing with haste. Which could they could conceivably have, because they could have Questing Beast or... S Shifting Ceratops. Okay, well. <laughs> please don't kill me. Please, please, please. Never let it be said that I'm not valiant in the face of immediate death. Please have mercy. That's got haste. 
Oh, the haste, the haste. Fine. Ready. I'm ready to win. That uh, stable stroke did not look good, did it? Maybe I shouldn't be playing them. It would have hit the Surak, I suppose. I think they're fine. There's enough targets. Hmm. This looks like a good hand. I'm suspicious. The, the universe is never this nice to me. Brazen Borrower. Well, uh, I think I need to make sure I get a fourth land, actually, in all seriousness, before I start keeping spells. Obviously, that, so one of my bugbears in this format is that there's too many Elvish Mystics. Like, you can play up to 12 if you want. I think that's too many. I think they should be playing like I think maybe they should ban either Mystic or Lana or Elves probably leaving Goose because it's a bit more unique but I just think it makes this deck far not this deck, any deck that has all of them just far too consistent and I'm not like saying I don't want beatdown decks to be part of the format I think they're a healthy thing that they, that it should have, I just don't think Beatdown decks should be quite as dominant as they are. Okay. What can I do here? I can draw step Gust the Elvish Mystic. I think I'm just going to be patient. I hope they overcommit and then cast a verdict next turn. See if it's any. See if that works. Okay. Uh. Don't really want to take ten. Before declare attacks. This way I can only take five. And I still get to kill the two big things with my Wrath. On the bottom, okay, so that kinda killed that too. Yep. So yeah, using Aether Gust as gain 5 life is probably a bit cowardly, but... Guilty, definite coward. That's a good one. So... <laughs> My hope is that I can use Teferi and Azorius Charm to stay alive for a little while. They probably have to play a big threat here. Maybe they don't have one. I'm just going to draw a card. Need to make sure I get something out of the planeswalkers. I don't want them to just get attacked because it's dead to a shifting ceratops with haste either way, or a questing beast or whatever. That is fine. I'm going to be economical with this Azorius charm. I think I don't think it makes sense just to burn it. What have we got coming up? That's a good one. So we can cast that for X is 4 next turn. 
and then usually if you draw anything that's not just garbage usually that would be enough to win the game we can hope creatures can't be counted okay Well, we do kind of need to draw a wrath of some kind, but that's fine. Now I'm strongly considering charming that. No, I'm just going to let it happen. And I guess it's still correct to scry because... This, the second card down is a land I want to get rid of it like that, that's good okay and if Tefs keeps distracting their attackers gaining me some life effectively and just kind of making me feel safe then that's a good thing because we're, we're likely to hit another Wrath on this Rev. We've got four more in the deck. Maybe likely is the wrong term, but we could well do. And that's kind of all I want. One Wrath should lock it up for us. So they attack down Tefs. I assume. They are attacking me. Okay. Don't care. Happy to fall to 11. Okay, well I guess I'll just be trying to bounce that. Because I don't currently have a good answer to it. If my rev yields a D-sphere and a verdict I'll be a very happy bunny. Got the verdict. Not bad. Can verdict on their turn. Now we need an answer to the Great Henge, like a veto or something, if I bounce it. Or a D sphere. So, yeah, we just look at. Or a Brazen Borrower. So, yeah, apart from. Apart from the Great Henge, we've got stuff covered. It's fine. The game's draw a lot of cards, but it's still just going to one for one because, like, the verdict's still going to kill everything. And for, I mean, if, you, if you've not been keeping track, we can cast it on their turn because of Supreme Verdict. So, because of Teferi, sorry. So this doesn't really matter at all. I guess I might have been better waiting because they've got a green floating and they might play another Elvish Mystic, so that could have been a punt. Pardon me. OK, 
Okay, let's just draw a card. Trying to find an answer to that stupid thing. That's an answer of... No, it's not. It cost nine. <laughs> that's an answer of sorts, but that's just not true. Uh, they can't recast it. That's kind of an answer. Because they've got no creatures. Huh. Would you look at that? I think we've won. We've got two spell quellers, yeah. We should win. We can desphere the henge if they ever cast it again. Henge is a hell of a word, isn't it? I like saying it. Henge. Pretty good. Not going to run one out for no reason. I think we win this game the longer it goes. I've got enough mana to play Spell Queller and Avacyn this turn, so we can, like, quell their play and leave ourselves with a fast clock. That's pretty strong. And then we can bounce a Queller back with Teferi for the protection. That's very appealing. Oh, God. Fine. I was thinking about quelling that so this never exists, but it just seems fine. Uh, yoink. Cool. Finally, we got a win. So, I would very much like to win, say, two this league, maybe three. Obviously, three is the most we can win, so that's kind of optimistic. But, yeah, I think the deck is fine. Maybe it's just worse than blue-white control. I mean, it probably is, but the blue-white control decks just look so fucking boring. Just all the types of control cards I don't find fun. This hand is gas. <sighs> Let's see if we can find another land. That's the opposite of a land. Oh, actual blue white. Can't imagine anything that isn't blue white control or that ridiculous cycling lotus field deck would play irrigated farmland. I'll do it properly on their end step, like an adult. Yeah, top's fine. I wonder if we have an edge in the matchup or not. I assume not. We've got less counter magic. But. I suppose we've got quite a good capacity to play the game in the way that they don't want us to. You know, all on their end step and stuff. But that only exists if we're the. If we're not playing against a little Teferi. So I guess we have to make sure that. We are the player with the little Teferi. I wonder why they're pausing me. Maybe they've got a Azorius charm to cycle or something. Come on, stupid LVC.
Sorry about this. With every New Year's, New Year's Eve, Christmas Eve, my like group of home friends that where people have moved away and we don't see each other as often as we'd like to and stuff. We always have a poker night, so I'm just trying to arrange that. It's pretty great. I'm not very good at poker, but I don't sh I don't really bluff. So if I if I'm betting, it means my hand's really good, and my friends have now realised that. So <laughs> They just all fold and then I get to make a tiny amount of money. Yeah, apologies for the dead air. I don't really know what I can do about this. I could I could do a dance or a song, but I don't think you'd thank me for either. They wouldn't be great. I wonder if they've put anything in the chat. Oh, shit, I didn't mean to do that. No, they've not put anything. Sometimes people put, like, oh, be right back. I wouldn't imagine <laughs> me doing impersonations of people leaving their keyboard is very good entertainment either. Come on, opponent. We're getting bored. Put spells to cast, places to go. Well, <laughs> I imagine I might have to actually edit this out. I don't normally edit stuff because I'm too lazy to find the part of the video where it is and stuff. I don't know. They've woken up just in time to save me from having to edit. Yeah, usually I let you lot watch all the boring bits because I'm nice like that. Fine. Thought about quelling. I I thought if I, I thought in my head earlier when they paused with those two mana, if they do cast it I might quell stuff but then the issue becomes like the issue becomes what do you do if they then untap and play a Teferi and bounce your queller then you lose everything uh, put that tapped beat downs thinking about charming and decided not to. Okay. We're not going to commit anything else, we're just going to see what we can do with this brazen borrower for the time being. Second one is quite fun. Means we can rebuild if they verdict us. I don't really mind getting verdicted. This three, da three damage is like a four turn clock, it's not nothing. Uh, sure, I will, I will petty theft that at the end of their turn. Down to nine, hopefully. The clock is quite significant now. They recast it. I wish we'd drawn another land. I'm going for it. No, I'm not. That resolves. Fuck, I'm a coward. But I'm trying to be smart because they've probably got a verdict in hand.
Queller is one of the only ways you can counter a verdict. So they've got Narsets in their main deck. This is quite a reasonable threat, so it might prompt them to do something. Land. Nice. Let's attack. And then just do nothing, because we're... We're winning, I think. I think we're winning. Because they kind of have to do something. They're improving my hand for me, so that's fine. That's also fine. They're just shipping the turn back. I could cast Dig Through Time because it's pretty threatening and I don't care about it resolving. That might be good. Those three lives are potentially a thing. <laughs> yeah, just be patient still. Use the Gaia Reach. It can only be good for your opponent. You should use it. Weird choice, okay. Tap out for something like a Teferi. It can't possibly go wrong, can it? That's a good one. <laughs> Quite happy with that. It's a shame we don't have lethal. If it was a 3-2 instead of a 2-3, this would be glorious. That's a good one. Happy to see that. Would have loved it this turn. I felt a lot safer. This is cycling of something. Dig. Okay, that's bad. But honestly, it could be worse. It could be worse. I mean, they're at one, so I imagine they're flapping a little bit. Must be Supreme Verdict time. Big Tefs. Okay, you got it. So... I'm going to try to quell that.
this is my bait spell for the tefts and then if that resolves I'm going to go ahead and assume that everything resolves I don't know, pay for syncopate or something If this resolves, they can't Azorius charm one of my attackers, which I guess must be their plan. Yep. I think Sensor is unplayable for what it's worth. Cool. Okay, that went well. This looks great, doesn't it? For this mirror, this looks great. Like, I don't want to play against this if I'm in their seat. Looks very annoying. Which is good, I like being annoying in Magic. And in life. Ask any of my friends. I take great pride in being as irritating as possible to the people I care about. Hand looks great. Veto, nice. Land is great. This is, ooh wee, this is good. Look at this hand. You can get this down underneath a counter spell. Oh. Shouldn't have been rude about sensor, even if it is totally unplayable. Okay, that's a problem. I did slide out a ton of removal. <laughs> oh, I was getting so cocky. Now I'm going to get slapped. Narset. I don't think I want Narset to resolve. Take three. Oh, cook a combo. They're very low on resources now. I wonder if we can just overpower them. We must be able to. This is great. I'm going to keep it back to try to block. Yes, Field of Ruin me. Okay, Narset's fine. And by fine, I mean very annoying. Need to be careful when I'm casting Opt as well. Azorius Charm, you say? Okay. Me and Tefs. So they're trying to bait me into blocking, which I think I'll do. They can Azorius Charm to like give life link and make another token or something, or draw a card and make a token. 
but I think that's fine. Oh, weird. Well, if you're not doing anything about... Oh, they... <laughs> <laughs> we all forgot that Teferi was in play. How silly. Um, <laughs> I'm going to plus this. I'm going to play this land. And I'm going to pass the turn. Or I can attack Narset. Yeah, let's attack Narset. That saves me one having to deal with one card. And the static's not currently a massive problem. We can spell Quell very safely. Yep. Yeah, we can spell Quell safely because if they can't do anything during combat, they have to do it all pre-combat. I'm going to chump block. I think. It fills up the yard for dig through time and it uh, keeps Teferi going. I think Tefs is the single best thing going on in this game at the moment. They've got powerful lands in play, which we don't currently have. I think I'm going to opt now. Top that. Okay. I'm trying to think if there's any way I can keep this alive so I can bounce two things. And I don't think that there is. I can... Yeah. I can't do much actually. Okay. They might not attack with the mentor out of fear of another spell queller blocking it or something. That's the only hope we have, is that they just send the tokens or something. Oh the Tefs. Okay, I think that's fine. Doesn't mean I can cast Dig with Veto up. Detention Sphere would be a good one, wouldn't it? Get rid of the tokens. Brazen Borrower would be good. I guess we'll take the two cards I just said I wanted. Come on, land. Okay. Please resolve. Dovin's veto. Okay, we can... I'm going to veto the absorb. You have a monk. Oh. 
land is great. So D sphere will D sphere will answer the monk tokens at some point, but I've still got to worry about the actual mentor because it's going to come back down and it will resolve. their last card is. Okay. Uh, this should be pretty reasonable. Seems fine. Oh, do I want to attack? Yeah, probably. The reason being, I want them to attack me so I can try and kill it with Brazen Borrower. to see what they do. They've drawn something. <laughs> okay, well I'm glad I have this. We do go down to eight though, which isn't fantastic. I'm not doing anything. Um, is there any reason not? To, I'm just trying to think when's the best time for me to uh, get a hog dig because obviously they might draw a counter spell. We know it's safe now. Imagine they're attacking. Okay, feeling a bit safer. Start making some inroads in their life total, I suppose. Must just be scry too. Yeah, that's fine. Doesn't bother me. That implies that their ha card in hand is terrible, which is good. So I've not got enough mana to petty theft and brazen borrower and archangel avacyn, but I can do any two. So we'll see what the situation calls for, I suppose. They've correctly realised they can't really attack. And a petty theft the token and see what happens.
Let's see if we can provoke them to use a counter spell or something. They've got to dig through time, have they? Okay, dig resolves. Hello, Hello I'm just recording. Let's uh, let's see how this goes. Rev another dig. Okay. So we will have seven points in the air and they'll have to chump block the gear hulk we've got avacyn as backup we can sack the selfless spirit as backup we've got quite a lot of cover i'm not interested in uh Playing out this planes will keep it as a secret. They probably have to use Vantress now. Possibly not. Little Tefs. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna play this. Man, everything's getting in the way. Okay, she didn't resolve, which is bad. They've got seven power in tokens. So if they've got one more prowess trigger, I'm dead. Does that count as a prowess trigger? It probably does. And I can't recast it. Fuck, I think I kind of blew that one. Would I have won if I hadn't cast Avacyn? Who can say? We'll get them in game three, it'll be fine. We'll get them. We'll get them. Although I think I want like one verdict over. Gotta be worth having one in because they're stupid monks. That was an annoying one to lose. Mulligan, but it's such a good hand. Okay, this is a sad one. Ugh. <laughs> this is a sad one. They're taking a long time. I guess their first hand is marginal. I don't know.
good one. Spell quality is really good. I mean, this might just be enough, honestly, if we can just keep, like, detaining their plays the next couple turns. That might be all it takes. Hopefully they try for a Planeswalker or something. I'm just going to draw a card. Try and hit land drops. It's not a land drop, but it's a great card to have in this scenario. Where we're trying to do everything on their end step and pressure them. And that is a land drop. I'll take it in case I have to pay for sensor in 2019. Nearly 2020, people still playing sensor. What the fuck? If you're still playing sensor, have a think about what you're doing to your family, your loved ones, the people you care about. They don't want you to play it. Nobody wants you to play it. What's he thinking about? Good one. Hmm. The temptation to quell is strong. I think I'm going to quell. The reason being that we can play around the Supreme Verdict a bit with the Selfless Spirit. And Supreme Verdict is the main thing I'm worried about with the board as it is. And it's the main reason to keep a Queller open, I think. Because you can't quell like a big Teferi or something. Come on. I wonder if they, they must have another Azorius charm. I can't think what else it would be. Ah, it's a draw, okay. That's an interesting decision that they changed their their mode of choice in the space of five seconds. Just pass back, you don't need to do anything. Very good. confused right uh, okay and then they get to target one of my others if they want or they can draw a card I guess they're probably allowed to change the modes I assume that's how it works with modal cards
okay. Fine. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Fucking sensor. Oh, look, like, it's so easy to play around. All we had to do was just, like, play sensibly. And we completely made those cards pointless. Whereas if they were just, like, Dovin's Veto or something, they could be actually relevant. I'm going to do this now to try to pressure them. Make, maybe make them make a move when they don't want to. And it's so expensive, we're not going to be able to double spell with it anyway, so now's as good a time as any. I might have been better off just using this actually. That yeah, that would have been better. That would have been better. But still, we're doing good. Opponents down to seven. We've got like annoying threats they don't want to have to answer. might get absorbed. I hope not. Okay, that's good. So our next draw step is Avacyn and then Queller, and they know that as well. Kind of interesting. I would have loved one more land so we could make lethal. But, yeah, no, things are fine. I think they're thinking about playing something stupid like a NASA that doesn't really matter. It's probably like the only thing they've got going on that they can currently do for three mana. And they're probably thinking about how, like, that would show me that they've got nothing else going on for cheap. But sometimes you just got to do what you can do. That would be the sort of thing that would make me pause this long on three lands. And once again, sorry if this isn't very good viewing, watching me watch nothing happen. Tefs. Okay. Yep. Okay. Keep that one, bounce the other. Yep, that all makes sense. Unfortunately, we can't do much more than this. And just say go. That was a good sequence for them. Pretty strong. Got to try it. Is that a supreme verdict? It's a big Tefs. Go for it.
I have to also figure out which Teferi is bothering me more if I get a chance to attack one. Sphinx of the final word. Flying hexproof. Stuff can't be counted. That's a problem. I'm not going to lie, that is a problem. Just got to keep doing what I can do. Need to try to pressure the planeswalkers, so I'll be playing my awesome, versatile flash creatures as bad sorceries. The good news is they can't really attack, because they'll just kill themselves. That's a problem. So basically, I need to. F they can attack now as well. Um, I need to find a way to bounce that Lyra ASAP and hope that they can't stop me from doing so. Alright, I'll concede. That was a bit of a shame. I think we... Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I blew it or what, but I think we should have won. And once again, it's just uh, a kind of a bad feeling losing against lots of Planeswalkers. Which is why I normally only put a couple in decks. Because I just don't think they're very fun cards. But there we are. Ooh, red. Very red. Okay. Well, we've got quite a good hand for Bonnie Red. This is interesting. It's kind of a slower hand. I would like that, but I need land. That's good. Yep. Hey, we might get to use the secret third mode on Azorius Charm, giving our stuff lifelink, because we play a decent creature count. Okay. I'm going to shock because I want them to think I'm just open holding my mana up for Brazen Borrower and then I get to quell whatever they do. There's no one mana three damage spell I can think of. And then I play the Teferi and the Queller's safe. But, yeah, oh shit, I forgot to attack. Fuck. Um, yeah, to the wider point, I just don't think uh, Planeswalkers are good for magic. I've come around to that way of thinking. A couple of my friends have been saying this for a while. And that, yeah, there's there's nothing enjoyable about games which are dominated by planeswalkers. They tend to be really boring. 
So, like, if you're going to make a busted card, make it be, like, a... 8 mana sorcery or something. That's real bad. That's real bad. I mean, they don't get the Bone Crusher Giant back, but Tefs takes a big hit. Quella dies. These are bad things. Ah, they didn't exert. This is interesting. Obviously, you want to kill Teferi first, I suppose. I should have attacked last turn, man. That two points might matter. I don't know what's right there. I have to try to counter that, I think. It's too good. Fuck. Yeah, this is, this is bad. Because, like, bouncing stuff with haste feels... Awful. Absolutely awful. They've hit Ferocidon, which just deals two to me. And this this game's gone tits up. Attack and exert, yep, yeah. and they get the big thing. And we just really, really, really need a supreme verdict. to attack Chandra. I have to bounce this. I'm fairly sure I've lost. There's the verdict. Okay. So. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That can go on top. So, yeah. I'm going to have to petty theft one of these during combat, probably the glory bringer. That's fine. As long as it's not hitting me. Jesus. Yeah. Okay, go to three. It's not good. But at least the Wrath cleans stuff up. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to Petty Theft Chandra. Untap. Wrath the board. Two Ramanap Ruins. I've just realised how dead I am. I'm going to keep fighting. I don't think I have any main deck life gain apart from one Supreme Verdict, which is going to be hard to find. Because there's one of it. I just have to hope their hand is full of duffers. Which it won't be. 
that's not a duffer, but it doesn't really do a ton here. Okay, well, we're going to play as if we're planning on drawing the the Sphinx's Rev next turn because I think that's the way we win, so i just got to play out all my lands. If they minus on the Queller, I'll scoop. I think that's the only correct play for them. Weird, okay. Doesn't seem right. <laughs> for Osadon. It's real good against my Supreme Verdict plan. Or my Sphinx's Rev plan, rather. Yep. Okay. Don't know how we get out of this. This would be where it turns out they've got the last points as a burn spell in hand and they're just kind of BMing me, I guess. Oh, fuck it, can I... Why can't it just block? Fuck! Stupid... Fairy twat. Um, Surge of Righteousness. Aether Gusts. Disdainful Strokes. These are the things I want. I guess. <sighs> What's bad? These are fragile. Oh yeah, the uh, Azorius charms are life gain, aren't they? I forgot about those. <laughs> okay. Message received. Thank you, deck. This pile of shit. Um, that is one slow hand. something to work towards I think that has to be my plan is just to lean on that but we're going to take a couple of hits in the meantime let's hope they play more creatures on their next two turns rather than like the style of game we had in game one where they just played bigger stuff okay this is great and by great I mean verdicty goodness detention sphere? no okay well we just have to probably take at least six and then wrath them hopefully they just play like rabble master that counts So I'm going to take 5, 6, 7, I'm going to be at 12, but the board will be empty. I think that's fine. The problem is they're going to follow up with like a Chandra or something. OK. 
Okay. Well, we don't have very much going on. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Fucking thing's got menace. So my feeling is that they are uh, full of four drops in hand. So I need an answer to this and then we're sort of stable. That counts. Down to six. <laughs> Beginning to think I haven't made a very good deck. Dig is fun. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I can dig with two up. Weird. Did not expect that. Did not think we were stable there. Not sure. Okay, that. I think I do need another wrath. Okay, I thought we were just getting pounded that game, personally. Yeah, this is fine. So we really need fourth land, but we also need... Stuff. I think I'm going to take the fourth land though. That lets me have access to Aether Gust, Charm, and Veto next turn. Then we just have to hope they slightly overextend into a Wrath again. Don't think opponent's concession last game was correct though. I think they were winning. Maybe they just got tilted because they're, they're one of those players that hates counter spells. See what happens. They went for on top, so we know what's probably coming. Now we just need to draw spells, I suppose. That's enough lands for now. That's a spell. That's a good one too. And we've got five mana. Okay. So
Is this just going to be the scabby boy again? Sure thing. Should have drawn a card with it on the stack, I suppose. I hope they don't just slam a glory bringer now. I'll feel like a bit of a goon, but Avacyn's really good against most of their deck, so I'm hoping she'll just save me. Yeah, she's good against that, for example. Okay, I'll take two. Hopefully they play and attack with a creature with haste. That would be the dream. Okay. Not quite. Castle and Breath. Okay, they can't cast that, so I'm going to take three. Yeah, that's good. So we just need to, like in a perfect world, I would get to veto something and play Spell Queller this turn and then use Azorius Charm to gain six the next turn. That's what I'm hoping will happen. But obviously I don't get to just declare what the opponent does. Not without thought sees anyway. Oh, hello. What's going on here? So, I don't have a good response to that. Uh, sure. So they, I assume they exert on Avacyn, yeah. So... I play this. And do I hang on. Sorry, I'm thinking out loud. Um I'm wondering if I just need to verdict so maybe it was bad to play the queller. It was probably bad. Taking four. I don't really want to Azorius Charm that because it's got haste and it, with it being exerted it doesn't even untap. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Just take the four. Let's draw. Something good, please. That's not bad. Okay. Can't really afford to attack. Hopefully they just play some creatures. That would be great. That would be fucking perfect. Yes, please. Play another one. 
Play another one, please. Please? Go on. You legend. You absolute legend. You're my favourite opponent of the day. So hopefully they obviously play something that can be vetoed. That ain't it. <laughs> oh, it's all gone wrong. It's all gone wrong. Oh, opponent, you're a bastard. I hate you. What a draw with five lands, eh? Bastard. <laughs> I don't know how I get out of this. Okay. GG's. Fuck. Okay. Well, that was sad. <laughs> if you're still watching, thanks for sticking with it. I think we might abandon this dream, but, uh, yeah, thank you very much. See you guys next time.